Now, 50 years ago today, England were beaten 6-3 by Hungary, their first defeat at Wembley. Well, George Robb played his first and his last game for England in that defeat and remembers a fantastic Hungary side. Exactly 50 years ago today, Tottenham's George Robb made his full England debut against Hungary at Wembley. There was no great... Uh, feeling, you know, this was, is going to be the classic uh, game of the season or so on. But they had been so um, successful in all the games they played in that obviously it was then looked upon as being, OK, well, um, can they extend their run even against this very good side? Rob was a school teacher by profession and as an Olympic team member saw the Hungarians win the 1952 gold medal in Helsinki. They really showed that they were really keen on, uh, OK, a nice little warm-up here, and we pushed the ball, they pushed the ball around. It tends to make fun rather of the more lethargic British way of getting out and just kicking a ball at the goal mouth, you know. Didi Kuti receives and he bangs it past Merrick for a goal. Hungary won up in the first 45 seconds. Puskas goes down to Johnson's tackle, but the Hungarian captain slips it over to Hidikuti, who shakes the net with goal number two. Ferenc Puskas was the Hungarian Puskas captain and deceived England skipper Billy Wright. His challenge was described as like a fire engine racing to the wrong fire. That was an absolutely cracking goal, you know, and it went in like a rocket, so it, uh, you know, that stamped him, I think, in people's memories ever after. Basic takes a free kick and Puskas finishes the job. That was Puskas all over. I mean, he really was uh, quite a master. I mean, when you consider his size, bulk, as it were, for a short player, uh, he, was, he was very nippy. From the wing, Basic races in and cracks home Hungary's fifth goal. Hungary, the most brilliant team ever to visit Britain, shatter the unbeaten home record England has held in 90 years of football. They would have accepted uh, a 1-0 defeat or a 2-1 defeat, but to be walloped 6-3, you know, and really showing a standard of football that we, we didn't produce on the day. I mean, the Hungarians really produced some excellent football on, on the day. The Hungarians celebrated with a special stamp and named a bar in Budapest 6-3 and fated the English team they'd beaten. Everywhere we went, you know, um, as we drove through the streets and things, you could see the, all the people looking up and, uh, you know, the response was very, very good indeed. And wherever we happened to stop, um, they would, uh, we'd have a crowd kind of gather and uh, they made the most of it, you know, obviously a, a great victory, but still they were very good, I must say. George Robb never played for England again. It was also the last international for Ralph Ramsey who scored this penalty. But the lessons he learnt that day eventually bore fruit in 1966. Philip Barker, Sky Sports. A man with his uh, memories there. We've got uh, more on the England...